Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7! For those of you who know me, welcome back and for those of you who don't, I'm Pia and I'm your host for all things Lux. Just taking a shower and now I'm about to get my hair ready and I'm hesitating between Tyson Aera or my Revlon all-in-one hairbrush slash hair dryer. I think I'm gonna start off by the Dyson and then we'll take it from there. Le de Prusse, I think it's called, or Bleu Prusse or something like this. A contrasting bronzy. Not that it says anything about the product, but you know, it adds to the experience. Let's add a little bit of heat protectant by Kerastase. This one is the Chronologist. I'm just gonna take off my rings and apply that. A couple of pumps of that. And just putting it through the lens to protect the hair from heat and it also just makes the hair look a little bit shinier and all that jazz. One of my favorite things about this line is the scent. It just makes the hair smell so bougie. There goes the Chanel lipstick. <laughs> I'm back from London and I just finished unpacking and now we're finally going to decorate our Christmas tree with husband. A little bit late. I mean, by the time you see this, it will seem like it's super late, but currently it's actually 8th of December. In Uruguay, where I come from, and here in France as well, the 8th is the day to build your Christmas tree. So I guess we're not that late. We did build it in November. We just didn't decorate it in November. <laughs> I'll first add the little dryer cup. Little brush head change. It's gonna be a full on Dyson here today. It's about like 70% dry, I would say. Doing a little bit of Chanel in Destination. This is number 174. And I don't know if it's a special edit with a little top like that, but I think we can still get it. Not undoing my curls just yet. Just gonna let them fall off while we're making the tree. Because tonight I'm having dinner with my girlfriends. I'm Miss Ambre Narguila. Spritz, 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 spritz. Oh, it smells so good. Love it. All right, let's build a tree. You guys. My Christmas present from Tristan just arrived. This beautiful diamond ring. I know it's not Christmas yet. It's like 20 days to it. A little less. But on Vlogmas, we're really close to Christmas. So I think I deserve wearing it already, don't I? This is what it looks like. It's basically two panthers covered in diamonds. Here you can see it better. I think you've got better lighting in there. There's some sapphires for the eye of the panther. How beautiful are those? I love it. It's like they're, they're doing a little hug to each other. Like a panther to a moi. <laughs> they are cuddling. Exactly. That's what they are doing. They're cuddling. It's so cute. Tristan's getting himself a little snack for getting energy to build a tree. What's your thought on your new cookies? It's delicious. It's like, in fact, with the gingembre, you could think that it could have a taste a bit amer or something. But because they have put a lot of butter and the pecan, it makes it really gourmet, in fact. Yes, it's true. They're very, very good cookies. Highly recommend them if you're looking to feel extra Christmassy, right? Mm. <laughs> this is the tree we're decorating today. It's the one you've seen naked behind my videos. These are the trinkets we've gotten recently. So we've got some velvet flowers in a sort of deep burgundy, an even deeper burgundy. We've got some red ones with those little like diamante center, which looks really cute. We've got some other ones in here. I don't know how well these ones are gonna look, so we'll have to see. We've got some... Comment se chama nectos? Du gui. We've got some gui. Voilà. We've got our Christmas lights, which we're changing this year because we've had Christmas lights for years. For this year, we actually decided to get one of those. It's like a thing that you just put on the top and it does it. And then it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, or at least that's the plan. And then we've got some more stuff in here that I cannot remember what it is. What is it? Le, le golden fait. flower. Oh, the golden flowers, right. A lot of new stuff, so let's get down to it. 
Tristan's figuring out the lights now. I think last year we took down our tree. Was it in April? July. July? <laughs> I think you're exaggerating. Definitely took it down somewhere around April because I think we were coming back from holiday. On our defense, we escaped quite a bit of the winter and we went to Uruguay. And so that is why we didn't take it down. But yes, we left it all throughout winter. It was beautiful. What does it mean? Little Loro Piana Trinket, my essay got me this year, so cute! <laughs> By the way, for anybody interested, our tree is from a company called Balsam Hill. I think it was shipped from the UK, but they do have really, really good offers. They're quite pricey trees, to be honest, but if you get them on sale, they're pretty good. And this is the second year we've had it up, but we know people that have had it up for way longer and they are always looking pristine. They come with a case for it to be stored at and come with these gloves for you to like fluff up. You don't even lose like one single strand. Yeah, like I said, it was up for quite a while last year. So if you're interested, I'll leave them linked in the bottom bar down below. We have interrupted tree building building to come have a little look at the decors in the city. How cute is this entrance? Oh, I'm loving it. Just started raining, but we thought we'd bring you to see the rest of the lights. More lights. So cute. Love Normandy. So these are the lights that I had promised you I'd come to show you a couple of vlogs ago. How pretty is it? This is called La Place Morny and is my absolute favorite place in Normandy during the holidays. Guys, look at this little library. It's so cute, this bookshop. Oh my goodness. We're back. We went to see the light up of the lights in the city because we hadn't caught up with it yet just yet. Now we're adding some flowers. So hair is completely ruined because the rain caught us, but it was good while it lasted. <laughs> I hadn't shown you yet, but these are the bubbles we're using. We actually had them from last year, although last year they were for the garland that, I hope that's a word, <laughs> that goes in the staircase. We've got the green velour, and then we've got this one that's kind of like a dark burgundy velour, which is my favorite today. Last year we had like a white decoration tree. This year we're going for a bit of a more more mature, no, it's not really mature, but it's, <laughs> we've grown up. <laughs> I don't know, just like a darker aesthetic. For the ground, instead of doing a star or a nutcracker, last year we did a nutcracker, we're doing this ones this year, which are super cute. And it's actually something that grows in Uruguay. So we've got them in gold and we're just adding a little bit like a firework explosion of that. so cute here you can see the beautiful crown we've got the gi the velour ones so there's the red ones the green ones where's the darker ones here we've got some of the darker ones here we've got the flowers the darker flowers i really really like it we've also decorated this little buddy and it's got a cupcake in it <laughs> 